This tutorial will walk you through how to add pages to your classroom website. So I'm logged into my Haiku class as a teacher. My class is called 6th Grade Central, which we can see at the top of the screen. And within this class, then, I have a number of pages set up. I have Home, Geography, Math, Science, and Language Arts. And when I use the term page, I'm referring to the entire screen that you see here. You can see that the screen is divided into other sections, which we call content blocks, and we'll get to those in another tutorial. So I want to add a new page to my site, one that's in addition to what we already have here in the left column, and I want it to be called History. So to make a new page, I go into the upper left-hand corner and click the Add Page icon. This smaller window will load and give me a place to enter a title for my page, and this title is going to be what shows up in that left-hand column. So for this page, I'm going to title it History. I can choose then where I want to put the page in relation to the others that are in the list. So at the bottom or as a subpage of something else. In this case, I want History to be on the same tier as every other page. So I'll leave it at the bottom of the list and I have an option to move that later and we'll walk through that as well. The bottom pane here shows us what the page is going to look like in the list. Now if it was a subpage, and we'll show that here. I would choose subpage, and let's say it was going to be a subpage of geography. So I'll click geography. When we look at the preview down here, you can see home and geography, and underneath geography, history, because it's a subpage, is slightly indented. Remember, now we want history to be a main level page, so I want to go ahead and change that back to being listed at the bottom. So when I'm ready, I click the Save button. And my main screen then will reload, and I can see in the left-hand column that there's a new page for history. There are no content blocks like I'd mentioned earlier, and that's covered in another tutorial. Right now, though, I want history to appear in the list below geography. So to do that, I just need to reorganize my pages. So I need to click the Organize Page icon. This screen that loads then shows me all of the pages I've created on my site. And reorganizing them is simple as drag and drop. To do that, you click with your left mouse button and hold the button down, drag the information where you want it to go, in this case below geography, and then let go of the mouse button to drop it in place. You can do the same type of reorganization with other pages as well, even subpages. So here if I wanted biology to be a main page instead of below science, I can click with my left mouse button, keeping it held down, I drag it to the left and up, and now I let the mouse button go and it's dropped in place as a main level page. When I'm ready for those changes to actually take effect in the left column, I click the Apply button. In the left column now, we can see that Biology is a main level page and History is listed up above Geography. The icons that you see to the right of the pages indicate the status. So if there is a little orange arc here, we can tell that that means that the page is published so it's visible to students and their parents. If there's a little timepiece, that indicates that the page is going to publish itself later. And if it's just a little gray icon, that means the page is unpublished and only you, the teacher, can see it. To publish the page, you can click on that little icon. And a new window pops up and gives you some additional options. We can publish it right now so that it becomes visible to your audience, which is your students and their parents, as soon as you hit the Save button. You can choose Publish On and give it a specific date so that it'll become available on its own so you don't have to remember to come in and publish it. Or you can choose Publish From Until, which means you specify when it becomes published and you also can set when it expires so that you don't have to remember to post it and you don't have to remember to take it down when it's no longer relevant. There's another tutorial listed that covers how you actually do this auto-publishing process. And that's it for creating new pages. You may also want to check out the other tutorial about creating content blocks.